Kanye, puis il y a du monde. Well, Dave, if I took a look at your art and I'm intrigued, I can see it's based around human beings and animals. What's it all about? Uh, well, I'm intrigued myself in how life evolves on the planet. Some people think they might have come from uh, space in the form of bacteria in rocks. And we've got rocks on the Earth which are deep under Antarctica that bacteria live in now, so that is feasible. And they do travel in meteorites, so it's thought they did. So, Life was also proposed, but Darwin thought it might have formed in the chemical pools, warm chemical pools with strikes of lightning that might have created life. Or there's another chap called Fred Hoyle who thought we might have drifted through space in a cloud. Some of these large clouds contain the chemicals needed to form life. And the latest one, the latest theory, is a fumarole in the ocean beds where hot volcanic chemicals spew out of the earth and all sorts of life forms grow there. They're called black smokers. So my interest is um, trying to inform people through my work where we came from, how we've evolved and where we're going. I want to contextualise how we as human beings compare with animals and how our behaviour is different. We have lots of crime, violence, warfare, when animals are mainly kill to eat and don't react the way we do. We seem to keep doing this over the centuries. Millions of people have been killed and I'd really like my work to uh, help people to question why. Surely the media is a far stronger way of showing how people behave towards each other, Dave. No, I don't really think so. Because I, I think we live in the fast lane in our society and culture. And people don't really have time to, to think about what's going on. It's the news is created very very quickly, it's sort of transient, it's here today, gone tomorrow, and then into the next catastrophe, and we just seem to stumble on in different situations. I, I don't think people are aware of climate change. I know it's in the news at the moment, but if, if you really look into what's happening, it uh, it will affect our future and future generations. I think in the future we could have wars over resources where people will have to fight for food and water and as the population grows and they can't cope with the amount of food required, people will fight for resources. I don't think that's too far off. I think there's enough on the earth if it's managed and used properly for everybody, as long as we don't have a massive population. There's a theory called the Thomas Malthus theory, and he stated that the population will grow as the food supply grows. But what happens is you reach a point where they can't supply enough food and then the population crashes. The perfect example is Easter Island in the Pacific. That was once a paradise and now it's a barren rock. I want people to think about uh, where science can lead us. I think as resources run out, we'll have to be clever at what we do. Science used properly is good, or is good for the greater amount of people, but it could also lead to a destructive sort of legacy for, for our future. I think we need to be aware that our DNA is the same, whether you're black, you're white or you're yellow. We all come from the same chemicals and the same materials. So how will your work make people aware of the destructive nature of some human beings? By spelling out the consequences of our actions in a graphic form. This in the long term would stimulate people to ask questions about the environment. There is a quotation from Jared Diamond that says something like this, If we don't take notice of the past, we will have no future. And I think he is right. What is happening in the world today shows just how fragile the system is. How will you ensure that people connect with the work? Well, what I would really like to see is people becoming interested in using their hands again perhaps having workshops where people could create their own 
artwork and see art as part of their life. I think art can be used politically and it can be used in many forms, but I think what we're losing in our modern age is the ability for people to make things themselves. It all tends to be computer driven, pressing buttons, rather than taking lumps of clay and modelling figures and creating paintings. I think uh, the way our culture is going and the trouble we have with the youth, it, it would help if they could express themselves through art as a normal way and as part of their everyday life. So, what is your answer then? universal education and I mean that in a sort of really broad sense not just educating people for jobs which we seem to do now but to to educate people to really tell them what the universe is all about where we really did come from how we are made up from chemicals how we are an animal and how we treat each other and until we do something like that I think we're, we're tied into education politics and religion and the result of that is two and a half, three thousand years of war in the name of whoever. I think we need to think about each other, what we do to each other and until we do that and look after each other a bit more, we're not going to progress.